I feel woefully uncool not having one of those microphones around my neck. Like, oh, totally. Like Lavaliers, they're so 2004. Seriously. Yeah. We need to update. You know where I wish I was? Where? CES. Mm. Guess who's there? I don't know who. Kevin Rose, and he's joining us live again from the Lucky floor bastard. of CES. Kevin, That's how's right. it going out there, buddy? Oh, it, it's, it's like I should just live here. This is my favorite place no. to be in the entire world. Well, no. I used to live here. <laughs> but I, I tell you, there's so many cool, so much cool stuff. I'm going to have to go through a bunch of stuff that I have for you today. The first one, though, you're going to love this. The Olympus. This is a digital camera. It's got a crazy screen. It's called the M-Robe 500. Retails for about $4.99. The most unique thing about this, though, is that there's no buttons on here. It's all touch screen. has a really slick interface. It stores, has an integrated 20-gigabyte uh, hard drive. 3.7 inch touch screen oh. and it keeps uh, all of your pictures and your music and you can kind of tie all your pictures and music together and have a nice little slideshow if you want uh, and of course the digital camera right on the back and so you just press a button and boom take any shots that you want cool little device love the interface how much is it next thing uh, 4.99 uh, okay a little bit pricey, mm -hmm. but uh, I, the, you just have to see the interface. This is one of those things that once they get it at Best yeah, Buy, for 500 bucks, there, they, start for 500 bucks they could have thrown in a button, Rose. I'm sorry. They could have at least given me one. They could have thrown in a what? A th put a button or two on it. You would think. You would think. But this interface is just, <laughs> you're going to have to, I'll bring this back for you, Kevin. You're going to play with it. You're going to love it. Right on. What's next that? thing, Toshiba's, next one, Toshiba's HD DVD player. The first HD DVD player that we've seen hit the market. It's uh, it's it's gonna be about a thousand bucks though. So again, a little expensive for the first. If you're on the bleeding edge, you know, and you want the latest and greatest, sometimes you got to spend the cash. But uh, it's not gonna be out until the fourth quarter of 2005. But again, a really cool device. Um, the next thing I have, you guys are gonna love this one. The LG has put out a 60-inch plasma, but not just any 60-inch plasma. They've bundled a DVR with 120 gigabyte hard drive, kind of all in one unit. Again, it's got a really slick interface, and it's just one of those. They haven't given me a price, though, so I'm not sure how much it's going to cost. And this is kind of one of those things, that, the themes that we're seeing here at CES. We're seeing a lot of integration of devices. We're seeing, like, TiVos inside of things, and they're all bundling inside of each other. But this is uh, it's a pretty cool plasma. It's, it's pretty nice. But not to be outdone, Samsung has come out with a 102-inch plasma. It Whoa. is huge. Nice. Kevin, if it's, it's, it's like five of you stacked together, Kevin, with like to fill this thing up. It is, Burn. it is but it's not amazingly cool huge. <laughs> That's right. But here's the thing: it's not for sale. They don't plan on selling this anytime soon. This is kind of one of those things. My plasma is a little bit bigger than your plasma type thing. It's uh, it, it's cool though. Um, and then the uh, another thing that they have, one of my favorite things, is the Samsung. Take a look at this little guy right here. This is a little mini uh, uh, recorder. And it basically has a built-in 512 uh, megabyte of storage, and it records MPEG-4 video. So it's just like your little camcorder or something like that. But it's a little different because what you can do is you can hook up this little device right here. And let me show you how this kind of works here. <laughs> something like that. And then, uh, so like if you want to take, here, I'll, I'll show you some of the, take a look here. So if you're like, you know, you're shooting some snowboarding videos or you're out and about, you can just throw this device in your pocket and then you can record all this video if you're if you're doing skate videos or snowboarding or whatever it may be. It's completely, it's it's really durable. It's awesome. It's five ninety nine. Wow, very cool, Kevin. Very cool. What do you guys think? It's, it's pretty cool. It looks kind of cool too, right? Yeah, not it's, bad. You're you're a trendsetter and a half, my friend. Nice. Go get them. Thank Go get you. Em, thank you. Mm -hmm. uh, last things, uh, real quick. Let me take this little guy off. Real, uh, real quick, you Rose. Got, you got to check these out. Yeah, real quick, this little guy right here, one thing, two MP3 players from Samsung. This guy right here, though, 42 hours on a single AA. Amazing. Wow. But I'll have more stuff for you guys uh, tomorrow. So that is it from here. Thank you, Kevin. Thank you, Kevin. We appreciate it. As he mentioned, we are going back to see us tomorrow for more of the action for the convention floor. We should mention also, he's sort of on like a four-second delay. There's a little delay. We were so having was, some fun with that earlier. That, that was Let's... a little awkward. But anyway, stick around. There's lots more to come right here in L.A. We're going to... Welcome back, and now, ladies and gentlemen, it's time for a little thing we like to call the feed. But wait! Uh, before that graphic rolls out, this feed is a little different, Sarah. It is? Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, we've got a doozy for you. There are a number of stories that we just couldn't let go from over the break, and since most of the news today is CES, we mm. decided to bring you the top few stories that we couldn't go without mentioning. So cue that graphic and sound, and the feed. Yeah, there it is. Woo! Woo! Ah, it's crazy times over here. <laughs> Ooh, I love that graphic. I love We're it. We're so wild. <laughs> All right, I what like, do you got first? 
I got some news for you guys. In the fight to stay independent, Ubisoft may be receiving help from fellow French publisher Infogrames. The joint effort could possibly thwart a potential hostile takeover by American publisher Electronic Arts, people. That was a surprise, wasn't it? EA claims their recent purchase of 20% of Ubisoft stock was just an investment. But Brian Bonnell, head of Infogrames, feels kind of differently. With the blessings of the French government, Infogrames will be help, is going to be really happy to help out Ubisoft any way it can, but no details have been released. It seems there is kind of a fighting spirit in the French after all, huh? Mm, yes. I want to know, how, I wanna know how they're going to help. How are they going to help? Yeah, they, uh, well, I mean, okay, sounds good, <laughs> we'll but how are you going to do it? They'll send them an apology card? <laughs> That's about you all You cannot take those shares. Nice French accent. It wasn't really French. Oh, sorry. But it should have been. It was good. That would have been appropriate, uh -huh. wouldn't it? Next story? I think they're going to say, escargot, escargot. <laughs> all right, next story. It looks like we're all, we've all been duped by Alex Komarninsky. You guys remember him. He's the guy that claimed to have the Christmas lights, like the thousands, tens of thousands, on his home that you can control from the web. You can click it on and off and disturb his neighbors. Well, guys, surprise. It was an elaborate hoax. Liar. Which a lot of people fell for, including us. Good one, Alex. Or Alec. All right, uh, next story, Chilan. Hmm. And guys, guess what? BitTorrent users the world over are a little sad. It seems Supernova, the most popular BitTorrent file sharing site, has been shut down. Hey. And this comes strangely around the time that the uh, MPAA set its sights on P2P server operators in an aggressive movement to halt the internet movie piracy. Looks like it's back to paying 10 bucks for that movie ticket for a lot of folks out there. Okay. Only if you don't know where else to go. <laughs> <laughs> You're good. All right. And the last story. Finally, if winter has got you down, you might want to book a ticket over to the newest vacation hotspot, Berlin, Germany. All right, I know what you're thinking. Germany is really cold this time of year. I should know. I was just there. But thanks to modern technology and a Malaysian entrepreneur, who he has created a great biodome environment in eastern Germany where you can actually enjoy a tropical oasis 24 hours a day all year long. And if you're lucky, you might run into Polly Shore and Stephen Baldwin while you're there. Hmm, enticing. The website, which I, you know, Google's letting me down right now, but the, it's got this huge, giant Too dome. Too much information. Get... It's what? a huge dome in Germany? Yeah, that's yeah. supposed to be a tropical island. Yeah, you go inside and it's got beaches and it's got like tropical plants and there's live performances and it's I don't the even getaway. Like, I don't even like the fake wave generators. Oh. I don't know. I don't know if I want to go to a biodome for my tropical right. vacation. Fair like, enough. Get the link in our show notes. Yeah. Fine. <laughs> okay. All right. Now, one of the most anticipated products this year is Sony's PlayStation Portable. Now, for those who didn't get to import a unit from Japan, here's a closer look at the handheld from this year's CES. Never before has the market seen a device with such diversity such functionality presented in a such easy to use style. But what does this really mean to the user? Some have said that the PSP is our answer to the Game Boy. And our competitors have called it an inferior product and a corporate distraction. Well, here's how we view the world. PSP will elevate portable entertainment out of the handheld gaming ghetto and Sony is the only company that can do it. A lot of the handheld gaming that we've experienced are all dumbed down versions of the console version. And finally we get something that's, you know, the same kind of experience that you're getting on the couch at home. So, and to take that outside, you know, you can't ask for anything better. I feel like a, a specific launch date and a price point would have been handy, especially since it's just a couple months away. They said end of March, but that was about it. And I think that's going to make some people nervous that maybe there'll be shortages or they don't know how many they're going to be able to get here. Um, so that information would have been really helpful. If they're aggressive, I, I wouldn't be surprised if they come out with a 149. But, but a lot of I've shown it to my friends, and I, uh, they already tell me they'll buy it if it's under 200 bucks. The most impressive games so far are like uh, the racing games, Ridge Racer. Uh, obviously, you know, you're blasting techno music and you're racing and everything. I mean, that to me is like what next gen gaming is about. PSP carries the Sony DNA with pride. It's compact and sleek. A downright sexy device. Wow, the handheld gaming ghetto. All right, we'll have more gadget goodness from CES on tomorrow's show. And coming up after the break, Tim and Eric from the creators of Tom Goes to the Mayor on the Cartoon Network will be back with a little improv based on your live calls. And it's being billed as an uncommon cure for the common medical drama. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Which intrigued me enough to go behind the scenes of Fox's new hit show, House. It's all next.